the golden brown seaweed, which has been washing ashore in increasing volumes since March, has been of concern for fisher folks in various coastal communities. The obstruction at landing sites, crucial for the offloading and storage of daily catch, has made the daily fit challenging for fishers to dock and offload the catch. To mitigate the impact of the seasonal sargassum seaweed blooms on the subsector, the Department of Fisheries has forwarded a multi-pronged response strategy, emphasizing that collaboration across agencies is essential. Partnerships with local and regional institutions are being strengthened to implement both short-term and long-term solutions to the sargassum problem. As part of its immediate response, the department has invested in infrastructure development at affected landing sites. Jetties have been installed in Prale, Miku, and Savans Bay to assist fishers in navigating through sargassum-clogged waters. These jetties are expected to reduce disruptions to fishing operations and enhance safety for sea users. Deputy Chief Fisheries Officer Thomas Nelson highlights the infrastructure developments that have been undertaken to minimize the impact of sargassum on fisherfolk. I, I, I would like to point out uh, some of the work that the ministry has been doing, particularly in respect of infrastructure development for the fishery sector. And in the context of sargassum, uh, the influx and the challenges that it poses, the ministry has been investing quite a bit to, to support the infrastructure um, that uh, the, the, the fishers require at the various landing sites. Uh, we have been uh, uh, putting in place uh, various jetties in Prale. We have been putting jetties in Savans Bay as well as in Mikud. And these sites have been affected by sargassum influx and these pieces of infrastructure have actually helped alleviate the impact of sargassum on fisher folk. Despite the challenges, the Department of Fisheries is reassuring the public that measured steps have been ongoing to manage the sargassum season effectively. The focus is to protect the livelihood of St. Lucia's fisher folk and enhance the continued availability of fish on the local market. Uh, one of the things that uh, we, we, we have uh, down the road uh, is we are anticipating some uh, equipment and machinery uh, from uh, friendly governments and uh, international partners to help with the management of sargassum. And this will certainly help improve the management of sargassum around the island. At the end of the day, what is important to the ministry and our focus is safeguarding the livelihoods of fisher folk, ensuring that fish continues to be available to the community. So food security is important. We want to ensure that uh, you know, the community as well as fisher folk uh, benefit from the sector in a very, very big way. As St. Lucia heads further into the sargassum season, the Department of Fisheries remains vigilant, adaptive, and committed to ensuring the nation's fishers are not left behind. From the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security, and Rural Development, I'm Zarek Felix reporting.